welcome to Rant Therapy. Because sometimes you just need to get it off your chest so you can move on with your life. It's a podcast short powered by the co-hosts of the Happy Eating Podcast. Carolyn, what do you want to talk about today? I, you know, I love my pop culture news. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. You keep me in the loop. Yeah, you're very out of it. <laughs> and this is one you, I don't think you'd heard of. So uh, no. I briefly mentioned it and I said, okay, I'm going to stop so I can tell you more. I'm so perplexed by the story that came out ye- uh, last week um, about this fentanyl distributing grandma who is the executive director of the San Jose Police Association. Yeah, yeah. When okay. you when you <laughs> when you said that to me, I was like, "Wait, a grandma got busted." Okay, so basically, let me set the scene. So there is this nice older lady. I'm guessing she's probably sixties, early. She doesn't look. I mean, she does not look early to mid sixties. Um, that grandma, maybe even late fifties. Um, and she's been the executive director for years at the San Jose Police Officers Association. And, you know, so she's in charge. They said she was kind of like the grandmother of the office. She is a grandmother in real life. But they said one of the employees was like, she was like the grandmother of the office, you know, just yeah. like the motherly kind of thing. Well, she got arrested. Um, and according to, let me find the details. Um, let's see. Lost my place. Okay. Um, the 64 year old allegedly received at least 61 packages at her San Jose home from various countries, including China, Canada, and India between October 2015 and January 2023, um, that, um, contained opioids and other drugs um, and importing a synthetic opioid, which is a form of fentanyl. Um, now, the packages, when she got them, they were reportedly marked as like food supplements, wedding party favors. Yeah, like random makeup, stuff. Makeup, chocolates. So, but things <clears throat> that her husband was definitely not going to even bother opening. Yes, 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 yes. But what I, what you can tell is that it has been like draw drop, dropping shocking for like the people in the community who knew her. Yeah. And the employees who used to work for her. Yeah. Like they are all just like, like just a complete, like talk about you think you know someone and then it's like a complete 180. I mean, I just can't believe that she was, like, so closely affiliated with law enforcement, and this is what she was That really makes it this worse. This is what she was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that- I saw in one article that she, I don't know, that she, like, allegedly said that it was her housekeeper. Oh, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, she said that it was her housekeeper and um and that even her hu- like even her husband had absolutely no, no clue. clue. And some of the commentary from like either from I think it was like family was was that it, it's even more perplexing because it it wasn't they didn't come off as needing the money. Right. I read it. that too. So like- it's like it, the way that the this, they were very comfortable already. Yeah, so it sounds like it's almost like for sport. Or like, do you get roped into it somehow? Like, and then you can't stop because they're like threatening your life. Is it right. something like that? I don't know. Yeah, like what was what was that show? Um, Ozarks. I didn't watch that. Oh one. yeah, Will and I watched that one where it was like they basically like their lives were threatened. They were kind of saying it's kind of like a real life Breaking Bad. Um, well, she faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in federal prison. But this, while you were on spring break last week, this provided me some entertainment. I mean, it's providing me entertainment right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, just had to share. 
Oscars. I think it's fascinating. I, I really too. do. And here's the thing is also, can you tell people where you like to get your information? <laughs> Well, I, not I'm not. It's not because it's a bad thing. I think in case other people want to be okay. up on the pop culture, like share okay. your secrets. Well, my absolute favorite podcast ever is Heather McDonald Juicy Scoop. I just went and followed her on Instagram, and so I stay up to date. She's got a great series that she did several years ago called Serial Sister. She had like a serial sister, like she had to get her. It's interesting. Um, love her to death, and. You know, she keeps us updated on, like, Brittany. The start of every show, you know, she'll have some recaps on Harry and Meghan, Brittany. Um, you know, last week um, she was talking about the Gwyneth Paltrow trial. You know, oh, yeah. stuff that's in the news that I don't have time to go, but I'm religiously listened to um, Juicy Scoop. But then also I was suggesting that you get the New York um, Post app on your phone because it is – when you need something light, like you're sitting in a doctor's office, I've got the New York Times app, but I'm not going to pull up. I mean, that's some intense reading. you got to be yeah. focused, you yeah. know? Like, when you need something light, you can pull up the New York Times app. And if you need something uber light. New York Post app, not the New York Times app. Yeah, sorry, not New York Times app. New York Post app. It's red. Um, if you need something real light, there's a little tab at the bottom of... Oh, yeah. The New York Post app, and it says page six. Oh, yeah. So then you can see they got an update on the Scandaval, um, on a Real Housewife, Kylie Jenner. You know, I don't read them all, but, you know. I like it. Just a little pop culture. Yeah, a little pop culture yeah, escape. And I, I am going to need you to step up. I am. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the app on my phone. Okay. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'll set up for notifications. Okay. And we'll go from there. All right. Thanks for keeping us up to date. The opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints expressed by the hosts of this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, beliefs, and viewpoints of anyone anywhere else. This is meant for entertainment purposes only.